Hi, cooperative games are an excellent way to test the strength of friendships and see how well you can communicate with others. They teach teamwork for a common goal rather than competing against each other. Games of various genres offer the opportunity to join forces, from shooters to real-time strategies, and even puzzles. In this video, I'll introduce you to 15 new games to play with friends. Let's start with We Were Here Expeditions. This cooperative adventure with puzzles and a first-person perspective is the next installment in the We Were Here series, where players must test their friendship by solving complex collaborative puzzles. In the story, the crew of a rescue ship receives a strange distress signal coming from the shore of a very cold sea. Upon arrival, the rescuers discover an abandoned amusement park and become trapped in a deadly puzzle. Two friends must find their way to each other while solving a series of challenging puzzles along the way. The only means of communication they have is a radio. Currently, the game is available for free on Steam. Trine 5 is an adventure action platformer with puzzle elements, and it's the fifth game in the series. It's a magical journey through a mysterious kingdom overrun by the ruthless mechanical army of monsters. Defeating such enemies is a tough challenge, so the heroes will need to acquaint themselves with magic and the forces of nature. The cooperative gameplay supports up to four players, each choosing a specific class and individual equipment. The game world is not only beautiful but also dangerous, as each level presents a challenging boss battle that requires teamwork. Each hero has several unique skills related to coordination, speed, or agility. Ringleaders This is not just another indie game, it's a unique multiplayer shooter with elements of social deduction, where alliances are fleeting, trust is a luxury, and deception is an art form. Set in a retro-futuristic city, where competing factions vie for dominance, and a recent friend can quickly become an enemy. In each match, randomly selected players become undercover informants, tasked with sabotaging the mission. The rest of the players must collaborate with their allies to complete the mission or join the enemies. The choice is yours. But be aware that the more you betray your team, the higher the price on your head. Additionally, the ability to mark players you suspect adds an extra layer of tension to every match. Of course, communication among players plays a crucial role, facilitated by the built-in voice chat feature. Currently, the game offers three scenarios. Collect and deliver, escort the hostage, and protect the truck. Each scenario presents different challenges and opportunities for informants to sabotage. On average, each match lasts 15 minutes, making the game perfect for quick and exhilarating rounds. In general, the game promises to be very interesting, so I recommend adding it to your Steam wishlist. I've left a link to the game in the video description. Starship Troopers Extermination A first-person cooperative shooter set in the Starship Troopers universe, where a squad of 16 players in mobile infantry must battle on hostile planets and construct bases and fortifications. Players can choose from three hero classes, each with its own skill development system, and explore a vast map with five unique biomes. Each hero has a specific task, such as eliminating bugs, which become stronger with each wave. In later stages of the mission, players will face the most formidable monsters. The gameplay combines exterminating hordes of bugs with resource gathering needed for side missions. Remnant 2, a post-apocalyptic third-person Souls-like survival shooter, and the sequel to Remnant from the Ashes. The second installment in the series takes us to a different dimension, facing the most terrifying monsters. The storyline has expanded, requiring us to visit foreign worlds and exterminate creatures in their lairs to save what's left of humanity. The enemy realities are inhabited by the most dreadful bosses, impossible to defeat without coordinated teamwork among all squad members. This new release retains the gameplay formula, allowing players to shoot enemies with exotic weapons and wield various melee weapons. Each player can choose a specific class with unique skills and passive bonuses that interact with selected weapons and equipment. LEGO 2K Drive, an open-world racing simulator set in the LEGO universe, where players participate in high-speed races to compete for the first place. The game offers various play modes, including online competitions for up to six players and local split-screen cooperative play. It features a variety of vehicles for land, water, and air races. 
Players can also create their unique vehicles thanks to an extensive customization system with over 1,000 parts for tuning. The gameplay revolves around exploring the open world, having fun races with friends, and engaging in story-driven adventures. Each racer can take part in a special championship where any Transformer-like cars are allowed, and races take place not only on paved roads but also off-road and on water. The Outlast Trials, a new installment in the Outlast series. But unlike its predecessors, this is a cooperative horror game set during the Cold War. Players take on the roles of test subjects in a scientific laboratory, where they must endure horrifying experiments. Instead of jump scares, the game relies on meticulously crafted environments, realistic sound effects, and the fear of the unknown in subsequent trials. Survival is challenging in solo play, so it's crucial to embark on missions with friends. Some players will focus on completing mandatory tasks, while others seeking thrills will attempt to distract the enemies. The success of the escape depends directly on the correct interaction of all test subjects. Demonologist, a psychological horror game with cooperative gameplay where players venture into abandoned locations, search for traces of supernatural forces, and perform cleansing rituals. The cooperative gameplay, involving four brave individuals, includes visits to the most dangerous places. Players must find the entrance to abandoned estates or mansions, inspect dark rooms, and discover clues pointing to the presence of dark forces. Then, they must gather the necessary items and perform a special ritual. The gameplay's challenge arises from aggressive ghosts that react to any sound in the light of a flashlight, hide in unexpected places, and often attack players. Atlas Fallen. In the storyline of this game, humanity is suffering under the oppression of fallen deities who have turned the planet into a lifeless wasteland inhabited by monsters. Only two heroes can stop them, a young girl and a mysterious creature from the past. The game is intriguing due to its unique setting, and the gameplay is definitely worth attention. It features a well-developed character progression system, and the bosses are challenging. The game truly shines in cooperative mode, where two heroes battle together. Victory is possible through unlocking necessary skills that enable friends to jump high and deliver devastating blows. One hero excels in ranged combat, while the other is a master of close quarters combat. Dead Island 2, an action horror survival game with a storyline centered around a zombie apocalypse, where the infection that turns people into ruthless zombies spreads to Los Angeles. As soon as the infection begins, the government isolates the infected area from the outside world. Our main hero and other survivors, immune to the virus, find themselves at the center of events. Now, they must fend off zombie attacks using makeshift weapons and whatever they can find. The gameplay is a dynamic first-person action experience with a light-hearted narrative and cooperative gameplay. Players can choose from six playable characters, each with unique abilities. An interesting feature is the ability to reset and redistribute talent points, allowing you to change your character's build. Meet Your Maker, a first-person online shooter where players build their own bases with traps. In the story, all remaining survivors on Earth participate in the Chimera experiment after the apocalypse. Each player designs their unique base with dangerous traps, turrets, patrolling monsters, mazes, and other obstacles to challenge other players. The goal of the attacker is to loot the defender's base, overcoming all obstacles and surviving. The defender's goal is to kill the attacking player. Successful raids unlock new abilities and deadly traps. Before attacking a base, players are shown its layout, allowing them to prepare the right weapons, equipment, and strategy. Payday 3, the sequel to one of the most popular cooperative shooters. Players can enjoy new heists, improved graphics, and new gameplay mechanics. The game has become even more thrilling. One of the main changes is the addition of stealth, allowing some heists to be completed without gunfire and alarms. However, as soon as an alarm is raised, chaos ensues. The game offers more interactive elements, such as environmental interactions. The graphics have become more impressive, and the main characters have learned to smoothly jump through windows, 
use cover actively, and avoid unnecessary encounters with guards. Diablo 4 Few players are aware of the existence of local co-op in Diablo. This feature is available only on consoles, but PC users can interact with each other online, collaborating to complete quests and explore the world. In this dark adventure, players can expect addictive gameplay, extensive character development options, battles with various monsters, and a decent storyline. However, after completing the main story, you might be disappointed by the somewhat repetitive endgame tasks. Sons of the Forest. A sequel to the highly acclaimed survival horror game, developers have managed to expand on the capabilities of the first installment and introduce numerous new mechanics. From an updated inventory system to changing seasons, the game is currently in early access and may have its share of bugs. However, the experience from the original game suggests that developers will gradually eliminate these issues. Local co-op play is not planned, but players can create a group of up to 8 people online to build bases, search for valuable artifacts, complete missions, and try to survive together. Baldur's Gate 3 This game has already been hailed as the best RPG of the decade. Completing the main storyline will take an impressive 70 hours, and by the time players reach the ending, they will have encountered 17,000 possible variations of the finale. The scene involving a druid assuming the form of a bear in bed is known to anyone with an internet connection. In addition to that, players can expect a multitude of classes, cooperative gameplay, a complex combat system, and flexible character progression that allows you to play as a hero or a villain. You can create a party of up to four players and combine the personal skills of the characters as well as their magical spells. Teamwork becomes particularly crucial in turn-based battles, where the outcome of the entire fight depends on each player's turn. That's all, thank you for watching, the Image Game Channel was with you, have a good day.